What are some toxic feminine traits you have experienced? My first wife just treated me like an income. I've experienced that. When I tried to curb her spending, she demonized me and told everyone who would listen that I was treating her like a child with an allowance and that she was trapped by my control. She spent me into debt, twice. It was so bad that I had to re-enlist in the army for a bonus just to get out of the red. When we finally divorced, the only thing she was concerned about was the checking account, which I split in half and wrote her a check for, and that was it. We had less than 4k in the bank. Six months after the divorce I had 50k in the bank. My ex used to slap me, and then be all like, you can't hit me, I'm a girl. Violence which is somehow acceptable. Told me show your feelings and then get told you are too sensitive and told to be a man. Becoming a victim when caught in the wrong. Manipulative, pathological lies, gaslighting, love bombing, silent treatments. Are really good at passive aggressively attacking your ego or self-esteem, and it either low key or just out of line and somehow to her you're the one who's overreacting when you respond in kind. Being absolutely vicious about their friends behind their backs while acting very supportive to their faces. Immediately makes me think everything she says is insincere. Women who openly discuss details with their horrible friends, who then talk and mock men for things they cannot control like the dicks. Men don't do this the way women do it these days and it's disturbing. Boss a energy. Women hit a lot, and gossip. Dear lord, the gossip. Being safe as long as you do everything they want, but as soon as anything is not going according to their plan the whole relationship is at risk. Privacy means nothing to them. If they learn something about you consider it public knowledge. Double standards mostly. They can use profanity and threats all day long, but when a guy says, fuck, they go running to our. No accountability for stuff they've done wrong. Mid-placement of blame or just getting angry and saying, okay, when you try to prove a point or point out when they did the exact same thing. That you need to make changes, but don't you dare ask me to make changes, mentality. Or if you voice frustrations or are upset about something, they get upset at you for being upset. Trying to create jealousy on purpose. Most are complete hypocrites about assault as long as victim is male, I was a bouncer, doorman at a bar the a I had to deal with when I worked was nightly if I had done it I'd be in jail, also bridal parties some of the most annoying groups of people bar workers have to deal with. My GF once talked about a friend of hers that had an affair because her life had slowed down a lot. Whenever she talked about it she would basically make it out like her friend was a victim, she said it was his fault she had the affair. I met the couple and the guy seemed really nice so I asked about the whole affair thing and my GF said that the guy had been depressed and I said, oh, huh, well why was he depressed? And she said, his brother died. I said, what? And you think the affair was his fault? And she said, yes, his fault. They weren't having. I'm still with this girl, but I oftentimes think about her morality. It was a contrast to the person she seemed to be. Shaw made me pay very close, very into it, and we're not seeing other people. But I've kept myself back, and maybe this was part of the reason. If it ends, I'll land on my feet. When a woman is having a rough time, it's our man is having a rough time. It's his problem. When a woman makes money, it's hers. When a man makes money, it's ours. Pretending to be a strong independent woman of 2023 who supports gender equality, and wanting to be on equal terms with only when it suits them while also reverting to the I'm a weak little girl from 1952 who needs a man to do everything for me, act, again, only when it suits them. Seriously pick one and only one. Either step up to the same level where it is are equal and put in an equal amount of work, effort with everything or stop getting offended when we tell you to get back in the kitchen while the men do all the work. Cause this hypocritical back, forth is toxic AF and getting old, tiresome. One we're blaming all men for everything bad in the world and simultaneously viewing us as expendable and one that does get to me personally is that they're allowed to have problems that aren't their fault and they need help with but men aren't. Obviously we all have complete agency over what happens in our lives and we're all 100% capable of unfucking things on our own without anyone's help or inconveniencing anyone else. From my previous marriage, I don't know what the specific name for it is, but she sabotaged my desire to lose weight with the keto diet because it wasn't as effective on her. I lost over 35 pounds and she lost maybe 10. 
It was then declared a failure by her and she undermined me by always making high carb meals for days on end and becoming upset when I didn't partake of her food. Gaslighting when I'd have my recreation time. Favors in exchange for chores. Ah, just get it over was the usual response to my attempts to initiate. Followed by, I'm at now, after I busted my disappointing nut, followed by three hours of her trying to initiate, followed by an hour long fight at 2 a.m. because, you're never at when I am. I was a bad father because I disciplined the kids. I was a bad father because I had boundaries with the kids. I was a bad husband for trying to have boundaries with my wife. Completely unable to ask a straightforward question. They never ask what they really want to ask. Double standards on physical preference, body shaming and physical abuse. Falsely accusing you of harassment when you turn her down. A woman will touch a man when she is flirting. No, ma'am, keep those hands to yourself. Respect my boundaries. Being mean or overly demanding towards service workers. At least it feels like it's disproportionality the ladies that engage in this. Weaponization of negative manipulation, emotional abuse, infidelity used as punishment for arguments, violence, theft. Boy oh boy can I pick M. 90% of women will let go of a door without looking to see if anyone is behind remember working at a social club with big heavy wooden doors. During bingo, an old lady was nearly vaporized by these doors. After a younger woman had rushed through and toward her seat, with no concern for anyone else around her. Certainly not little Maureen who was left decked behind and talking in a fake high-pitched voice when greeting each other. What in the a** is up with that? Wanting a guy to basically assault them instead of just saying they're a** because a man must be dominant, all the way off with that. 1. A tendency to take private issues to the council, for security, when in fact it's to get unconditional support for unforgivable sins. 2. A near total lack of personal, social, and legal accountability because, I need to be protected sad face. 3. Any other stunt the Russian army would pull to justify an aggressive response to people protecting themselves from wanton aggression. Did you marry my ex? OMFG sounds similar. I told my current wife while we were dating that there are financial priorities and you may not always be the top priority. I've taken care of others for so long that now I'm taking care of myself first now. That type of teaching is literally brainwashed into kids, boys and girls. We grow up thinking it's really true until we reach junior high or high school to have different views on the subject. I'll never understand this. Yeah, men shouldn't be hitting women. In the same way nobody should be hitting anyone. If someone smacks me, they're getting smacked right back though. This is very evident when you watch two men or two women throw a couple punches and cool off women go full John Wick and don't stop until one side is absolutely ripped to shreds. Yes, this is very common, it's just sad. Also, happy cake day. I used to be so closed off only to open once and then close off stronger again. Be a man they said. Bingo. Society, and the average person, doesn't actually men to open up. Open up more. And, don't hide your feelings. Are just things shallow people say to make themselves feel inclusive and supportive while continuing to treat us like trash. This is my ex she is terrifying with how good at lying she is. After we broke up she stuck around my friend group leeching off everyone. She had with her best friends Caitlin's boyfriend and got caught. I watched in shock as she used tears, inside jokes and Caitlin's secrets as leverage to convince Caitlin that it was her fault that her boyfriend cheated on her. That a mutual enemy of theirs was trying to steal him away, not true. So she, my ex, was doing her a favor by making sure Caitlin boyfriend fell for her instead of their mutual enemy. Because at least now I can convince him to stay with you. They were best friends again by the end of the night and I guarantee my ex continued to have with the boyfriend behind Caitlin's back. Terrifying. I was hoping you meant actual sniping SMH. LOL had a a buddy pull this and her friends mocked my size. I'm average if that's TMI, sorry. I said at least she's getting a unlike you pugs. They did look like little pug dogs lol. There's a subsection of women who think that it's the turn to be problematic. That is men are encouraged to sexualize women less, to minimize women's feelings and opinions less to stop demanding women fulfill specific roles, that they get to do those things to men. And no, if you want men to progress past certain behaviors, you can't regress to doing those things yourself. 
My ex Beezy told her mum and sisters about our face with rolling eyes freaking weirdos. Also she described my to one of our female friends who I've known for years. Also a garbage move from a garbage person.